Hi everyone, I'm Silvia, I'm a PhD student at ISD Austria and today I'm going to demonstrate a DNA extraction experiment using products that we all have at home. First step, we need to cut a banana, we don't need the whole one, just a little bit will do and we put it in our plastic bag and smash it and we need to go from banana to banana pudding so smash and by smashing what we are what we are doing is we are breaking the cells apart so it's going to be easier for us to extract the dna from them so we mash it very well we don't want big, big clumps And we collect it all into a corner where we can actually keep smashing it better. The more we smash it, the more pudding that we get, the easier it's going to be to get our DNA out and the more DNA that we are going to get out. You see? So now that we have it in, a, in our pudding, we collect it all into a corner. And now what we're going to do, we're going to take our warm water gonna dissolve a little bit of salt in it with a spoon mix it. So what is gonna happen is that this is just a preparation step for the next one. So when the DNA is out in the mix, uh, we want all the DNA molecules to stick to each other and to form big clumps that then we are gonna be able to see with our naked eyes. And the salt actually is gonna do that. It's gonna help the DNA molecules to stick to each other. So what we're gonna do, we open again our bag and very carefully we pour the water in. And now, very gently, we mix it all together, but very gently. We don't want to mix it up like, no. We just want very gently to mix all the banana with the salt. Yep. And now we do our final step, which is basically we add this soap. And the dish soap is going to help us break the cells further. So the DNA that is inside of the cells is surrounded by a membrane and each cell is also surrounded by a membrane. And these membranes are made of uh, lipid molecules and these lipids are basically fat and oil. So the soap is actually going to break these membranes, it's gonna break them apart, and it's gonna help the DNA get out to the medium, which is our salty water. And because of the salt, the DNA molecules are gonna clump to each other. So, we add a little bit of soap. And again, very gently, so we don't form foam. We mix it up. And we mix it until everything is homogeneous, right? So we don't distinguish between the soap and the banana and the water without too much foam. Right? So there we go. So now our DNA is in the liquid in all this mix. And to, for us to be able to see it, we need to filter it to get rid of the stick the chunks of banana that we are in there. So for that, we're gonna take our glass and a coffee filter. We fold it in half because this is too small for this to fit. So we fold it in half and we break it. We cut it a little bit so we make it smaller because we don't need all this. And then we open it like this, right? and we put it in the top, on the top of our, of our tube. So now, very carefully, we pour our mix in the filter and we let it to drip. You can see that it starts dripping here and there's some drops falling down. So we leave this for a while. Once this is filtered, we can add a little bit more and we wait until we have one or two fingers 
more or less of liquid and then we will be able to see the DNA. So see you in a bit. Hi again, welcome back. Um, after removing our filter and putting in our plastic bag that we can discard, we have a little bit of a brownish yellowish liquid and this is where our DNA is, okay? So now, very carefully, we take the alcohol out from the freezer and very carefully, we are gonna pour it down the wall of the glass, right? So that there's two faces and the alcohol doesn't mix with the banana, okay? So we are gonna do it like this. Very carefully, we pour it down the walls. If there's spillage out, doesn't matter. What we need is to create two distinct faces with the banana mix in the bottom and the alcohol in the top like this. And now we leave it on the table for a little bit. And what is going to happen is that the DNA molecules that were all stuck together because of the salt, they can be dissolved in, the, in, a, in, in a fatty solution like the one that we have with the banana because we still have all the leftovers from the cell membranes. So the DNA actually does, uh, doesn't dissolve in alcohol, it precipitates, and this is why we can actually see it, right? So what we are gonna do, you're gonna wait a while, it's probably that we, probably you will see some bubbles coming out, but you see these white little things sticking from the top of our, of the liquid? That is our DNA. Everything white that is in the interface between the two liquids, all this is DNA. All of this white stuff, all of this is DNA.